time that you traveled? Did you love it? Do you want to take another trip, but something's holding you back? In my survey, I found out that many of you like to travel or would like to travel, but not all of you feel that you can for one reason or another. I personally love to travel and do quite often. Travel is a great way to expand your knowledge, experience new places and people, and possibly shift your perspective on life. Travel is necessary to fully experience the world and take a break from your everyday life. Along with all of the super neat experiences that you can get from traveling, it is also one of the best stress relievers. It gives you a chance to be away from all of your daily tasks and responsibilities. I look forward to traveling several times a year to escape my daily life and cut down on the amount of stress that is piled on me. Traveling can open your eyes to many cultures and places that you may not have even known existed. You will become more aware of everything that is going on outside of your own tiny place in the world. These experiences help you to relate more to people, understand that policies impact the whole world, not just you, and expand your mind to opportunities. Also, the memories you can make from traveling will always be with you and you will be able to share them with your friends and family. Your traveling experiences can be great conversation starters. Now that you know why traveling is important, let's discuss all of the ways people can travel and not worry about whatever was keeping them back from it. Even if there is something holding you back from traveling, there is always a way to figure it out. In my survey, most people said that the reason they don't travel is because of a job or some sort of responsibility. Travel doesn't necessarily mean that you need to go to a whole different country or state. Traveling could simply be getting in your car and driving a short distance to somewhere that you've never been before. Local attractions such as parks, trails, or museums are an affordable or even free option that won't require time off work. The pandemic has also increased virtual tours of castles in far off places, zoos, and safaris. In the article, The Great American Passport Myth, why just 3.5% of us travel overseas, William D. Chalmers says that only 10% of Americans even have a passport. The other percentage of people that said they didn't like to travel was because of financial reasons. If you stay inside the USA and just take a short day trip, you don't have as much to worry about as if you travel to a completely different country. Traveling outside of the US is an exciting option in an article written by Hannah Sampson's called Record 93 Million Citizens Traveled Outside the Country in 2018, says that during this time, there, are very, there were very favorable exchange rates. Looking at this information, it's very important that you plan ahead and do research. And if you do so, traveling even to a different country can be more affordable than most think. Now that you are aware of all the ways traveling could work for you, Let's think about what traveling would actually look like. Take a second to think about the one place you would like to travel right now, what you would do while you are there, and the people that would surround you. Think about getting away from the stresses and responsibilities of your everyday life. Whether it's sitting on a nice warm beach, hiking a mountain in Hawaii, or exploring the chilly weather of Alaska. This is a picture of people climbing the Coco Crater Summit and Railway Trail in Honolulu, Hawaii. This is a picture of some students exploring Alaska. Waking up each morning knowing all you have to do for that day is relax and experience all the joys of being on vacation. Waking up early or sleeping in, everything in your day is up to you. Think of all the new foods you can try and things you would get to experience. With that beautiful image of your perfect vacation, the next step is to take that and make it happen. Take some time and figure out what it would look like for you to travel and how it would impact your life.
whether it's money, time, responsibilities, or something else holding you back from traveling, take a second to think about all the ways a trip could help you relieve stress and experience new things. Laura Lynch says in an article she wrote called 11 Tips for Planning the Perfect Vacation that a few things that are important to think about is picking dates, finding deals, and comparing prices. Travel agents are helpful tools to stream online planning. Facebook groups that share travel ideas and experiences are a great resource and talking with friends about must-see places they have been will help you narrow your search as you possibly, as will possibly find attractions that are off the beaten path. All of these things will help you create your perfect vacation or short day trip. Think about how much fun you would have exploring the destination of your choice, whether you travel alone or with your family, go far or stay close to home, or take a virtual trip from the comfort of your own home. So once again, travel can expand your knowledge help you to experience new places and people, and possibly shift your perspective on life. Think back to how you felt when you were visualizing your perfect vacation. That could all be real with just a little bit of planning and preparation.